Welcome, yogis. Today's practice is a nice, soft, slow flow. So lots of deep opening of breath. Make sure that you have a couple blocks handy, maybe a yoga strap if you need it, and I'll meet you on the mat. So we'll find ourselves in child's pose to begin with today. So sitting back on the heels, the knees can be together or open wide if it's more comfortable for you. If you're more comfortable placing a block underneath the hips, that option is also available to you as well. Start walking your hands out to the top of their mat. And just gently start lowering everything down here. Forehead hits the mat. If the shoulders are a little crunchy yet this morning, take the hands back behind the hips. Maybe you're on the side of the face. Just find a comfortable place for you. And we're just going to take a few deep breaths here. So just notice where you're at right now. Don't change anything. Notice where your breath is. If you're breathing into the belly or if you're breathing into the chest still. And then slowly we're going to start taking deep breath in through the nose. Make sure you're sending the breath all the way down to the belly. Fill the belly with air. And then exhale that out softly. We're just going to be here for a few more breaths. So if you have an ujjayi practice, constricting the muscles in the back of the throat, making that ocean sound, now is a great time to come into that breath. So breathing in through the nose. And exhaling. Each time making the breath a little longer. And trying to match the length of the inhale with the length of the exhale. Take this time to just gently scan through the body. Notice what is open and what's a little tight. Remind yourself if you're working through any injuries just to be mindful and be kind to your body. We'll take one more breath here. And then as you're ready, slowly coming up to all fours position. We'll find ourselves stacking our joints here. Start with the base with the fingers. Spread the fingers really wide. Fingertips are gripping into the mat, so your fingers are really active. Shoulders on top of the wrists, hips on top of the knees. And we're slowly going to start taking that right foot behind us. So inwardly rotate that leg so that the big toes are pointing down towards the mat. So we're not going to open our hip just yet. I want you to lengthen through the crown of the head like there's a string pulling the crown of your head forward to the top of your mat. That foot is lengthening to the back of the mat and you're pushing the ground away here. You feel nice and strong. And on your next inhale, I want you to bend that right knee and open through the hip. Now keep pushing into the hands evenly. Keep bending the knee, keep opening that hip. And that right foot is gonna either travel just to the left hand side of your mat, or you're gonna start bending the knee further and taking the knee towards the left shoulder. Now notice where your shoulders are. Are they starting to twist a little bit? See if you can keep them to the top of your mat. Breathing in. Breathing out one more time here. Maybe lift that leg a little higher and squeeze that foot towards the shoulder. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Straighten the right leg. And we're going to take that right leg all the way out to the right side of your mat. We'll find a few cat cows here. So readjust the shoulders over the wrists if you need to. Hips on top of that knee. When you're ready, inhale, drop the belly. We're going to find that cow pose. Lift the hips as much as you can and then pull the chest forward. As you exhale, the spine rounds to the ceiling. Push the ground away. Chin tucks towards the chest for your cat. Keep breathing. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the hips. And exhale, round and push. Good, last time. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the hips, pull the chest forward, and exhale, round and push. 
Good, when you're ready, that right foot is just gonna come right back underneath you. Shake the hips out from side to side. Same thing, left hand side. Restack your joints, push the ground away, left leg is gonna lift. Inwardly rotate so the toes are pointing down towards your mat. Take a deep breath in, push the ground away, lengthen the crown of the head forward and squeeze and lengthen that leg behind you. One more breath here. And then we're slowly gonna start bending that left knee and opening that left hip. So twisting the hip open. Again, the right foot either just goes to the left, I'm sorry, the left foot either goes to the right side of the mat or your right foot is traveling towards the shoulder. Keep pushing the ground away here. Open the hip, maybe lift that knee just a little higher. Keep the breath going nice and steady. Good, and when you're ready, release back down to the floor. All right, here we go. We're gonna curl our toes under and find that first downward facing dog of the day. Before we do that, spread your fingers wide. Fingertips are squeezing into the mat, and when you're ready, lift the hips up and back. I'll push the hands into the ground a lot, lengthen out of the shoulders, and maybe walk your feet back just a little bit. Lengthen through the spine. So you want a nice diagonal line all the way from the fingertips to the top of the hip bones. Now your knees can be really bent here if you need them to be. Maybe just pedal out the feet, one and then the other. Maybe you're swinging the hips from side to side here. So if you need to find movement in that downward facing dog, now is the time. And then we'll just take one more deep breath together and find a little bit of moment of stillness in that downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Belly button pulls into the spine, lengthen the lower back, deep breath out through the mouth. <sighs> Good, we're gonna ripple back and forth into plank here. Now remember, plank is the same length as your down dog. So take a deep breath in and as you exhale, ripple forward into plank, shoulders stack right on top of the wrist and then adjust your feet here. Push the ground away, frontal hip bones squeeze towards the elbows. You're gonna squeeze the butt cheeks together, lift through the kneecap, keep kneecaps so the thighs are nice and active as well. If you're looking to add on, those feet are gonna pull the mat apart. So rip the mat apart down the middle by squeezing the feet. So now you've started working onto the outer thighs as well. Last deep breath here, and then we're gonna push back into down dog, deep breath in. Good, let's ripple forward into plank. Exhale, roll back. Now you can drop to your knees here at any time as well, don't forget. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, finding that plank. Okay, so from here, drop to your knees if you need it. We're gonna take one little chaturanga. It's the only one you'll have to take through the class. When you're ready, shoulders shift over the wrists. Keep the shoulders healthy. And then bend down through the elbows as you exhale. Squeeze the elbows into the side waist, lowering all the way down to the belly. Tops of the feet push into the floor. Inhale, lift. Use the strength of your lower back, baby cobra here. And as you exhale, release. Curl those toes under, and we'll make our way right back into down dog. A couple breaths here. Again, you can find your stillness, or you can move a little bit in that downward facing dog. So again, that was the only chaturanga you need to take in this class. If you don't like those push-ups, or you're not quite there yet, just drop to your knees, take a cat cow. We always meet back in downward facing dog, so don't worry. Make it your practice, your modifications. All right, so when we're ready, we're slowly gonna look at our fingertips, take a deep breath in, and gently walk your feet towards your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Extend the spine forward, shoulders away from the ears here, and then forward fold. You can bend the knees slightly if you need to. Let the head be heavy. Just let everything fall forward. It's like the top half of your body is a weight and it's just uh, sagging down. Now, if you're someone who's a little inflexible, go ahead and grab those blocks. Place the blocks right underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift again, lengthening through the spine. We're gonna take a small twist here. So right hand is, I'm sorry, let's start with the left hand. Left hand is gonna plant, left knee is gonna bend. We're gonna keep that right leg straight and then the right hand reaches up, finding the twist. So you're trying to stack 
one shoulder on top of the other here. Keep lengthening the spine forward, maybe pushing the hips back a little bit. Rolling open, deep breath in, deep breath out, release. Good, let's inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, we'll take the opposite side. Right hand plants, right knee bends, left leg is straight, left hand reaches towards the ceiling. And again, lengthening that spine forward. Breathing in, stacking the joints, and breathing out. Last one, deep breath in, really find length in the spine here. And exhale, fold forward. Go ahead and get rid of those blocks if you had it. Make sure your toes are touching. A little bit of space between the heels. And we'll start the practice with a few sun salutations here. Again, make it your own. You don't have to take all the moves that I call out. When you're ready, inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, push down through the feet to root to rise. Reach for the ceiling and grow really tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Push the hands into one another. Shoulders away from the ears, elbows are out. Good, inhale, everything lifts. Add those back bends or breath holds if you had them. Inhale, falling all the way forward. Good, and lifting halfway. Planting your hands on that exhale, step or jump back into plank or kneeling plank. Here's where all those modifications come in. You can drop to your knees and take a cat cow. You can simply push right back in a down dog, or you can take that chaturanga with or without knees. Shoulders push over the wrists, elbows bend and squeeze into the side waist. Inhale, finding your up dog or baby cobra. And then as you exhale, lifting the hips nice and high, we're all meeting back in downward facing dog again. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in, look at your fingertips. As you exhale, step jump, or maybe hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lifting halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, root to rise. And exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale to lift and exhale to fold. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back into plank, kneeling plank, cat cow, down dog, wherever you choose. Exhale, find that chaturanga. Inhale, find your back bend. Exhale, right back into downward facing dog. Let's take two breaths here. Deep breath in through the nose as you push into the hands and lift the hips. Deep breath out. Good. One more. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale. Look at your fingertips. Step, jump, walk, or maybe float to the top of your mat. Inhale. Lifting halfway. Flat back. Well done, yogis. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, push down through the feet to root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, lifting, back bends or breath holds. Exhale, fold forward. Remember, you can bend your knees here if you need to. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float right back into plank, kneeling plank. Take any modification you choose. I'm going to pick the chaturanga. So lowering down on my exhale. Inhale, I'm going to find an up dog or any kind of back bend that you choose. And downward facing dog is where we meet. Let's take another two breaths here. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Good, deep breath out. When you're ready, the right leg is gonna lift. Lift that leg as high as you can. Come to the tippy toes of the left foot. And as you exhale, you're gonna slowly ripple into plank. Take that right knee into nose. Crunch the knee in, push the ground away. Take another little extra breath if you need to. And we're slowly gonna step that right foot forward as quiet as we can. Spin the back left heel down, you're in warrior one. 
So hands are reaching into the ceiling. We're gonna make sure we're stacking our joints. Take care of that front knee. It's right on top of that front ankle. Push down through the back heel and then slowly lift the spine and the fingertips up to the ceiling. Take one more deep breath here. Lengthen up. And then as you exhale, hands bind behind the back. Moving through humble warrior now. Fingers pulled down towards the floor, shoulders away from the ear. As you inhale, you're gonna lift through the chest and push through the back foot as you lengthen forward. Keep lengthening, keep lengthening. When you can't find any more length forward, that's where you stop. Drop your head release the shoulders, and then maybe pick the hands up off the lower back. Now, if you're someone who's really flexible, we're gonna try and keep the hips even and square today. So the right hip is pulling back, left hip is pulling forward, and you're gonna lengthen through the spine just a little bit more as you exhale, lower down. Keep pushing through that back foot. Let's find one more deep breath here. Let the head go, let the shoulders go. And when you're ready, release the hands. Everything lifts right back into your warrior one. Good, take a deep breath in, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, the left foot steps forward, find your Utkatasana, chair pose. So we've got a few breaths here in Utkatasana. Let me distract you. <laughs> Knees are behind the toes here. Everything is behind the toes. Sit back in the chair. Lengthen through the lower back. So I don't want you to think so much as sucking the belly and rounding everything as to just have a nice neutral flat back here. Lift the arms up or maybe you're reaching them forward, but wherever you are, you're trying to lift the chest and sit low. <laughs> Let's take two more breaths here together. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last one. Deep breath in. As you exhale, fold forward, release. Good. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Left foot is going to step back. Left knee drops. So we'll find ourselves in a little break here, finding ourselves in Anjaniasana. So coming up into finding a nice lunge, making sure again the knee and the ankle are stacked, taking the hands up to the ceiling, lengthening through the spine, make the lower back safe, maybe slight tuck of the tailbone before you push the hips forward and down. Now you can use that front foot to readjust some of us are really flexible, so we need to move that front foot forward because our knee comes over our toe. So making sure the knee is stacked. Stay here, find your breath. Slow everything down. Staying soft and quiet. Last deep inhale, last deep exhale. And then hands will plant again. Left hand plants inside of the right foot. Curl the back toes under and pick up the knee. And we're gonna see if we can spiral open again. Right hand lifts. So you're in that revolved runner's lunge. Now again, blocks here can be really handy. They give you that extra space in your spine and your, in your hips and your knee. So just be kind to yourself and use those blocks when you need to. One more breath. And then when you're ready, both hands are going to plant, drop that back knee, front foot, right foot moves all the way behind you. Have you had a block? Go ahead and get rid of that block. Stack the left shoulder on top of the left wrist and we're going to roll open for a modified side plank here. Now you choose, you can keep that back foot down. You can lift the back foot for a little bit of strength. If you're looking for a little bit of stretch, that back foot is going to step behind you toward the left side of your mat, and you're going to roll the chest open. Let's just take two breaths here. Well done if you were holding that back leg up nice and strong. Last breath. And then when you're ready, rolling back down, finding your all fours position here. Let's take one more stretch before we find our left hand side. 
So right hand is going to lift. We'll thread the needle here. Right hand underneath the left armpit. Drop the right shoulder, the right side of the face. And today let's take the left hand and bind it up behind the back. Now the object here is to make as much space as you can on that right shoulder blade. So keep reaching the right hand to the left. Roll the left shoulder open towards the ceiling and maybe just close your eyes. Take a breath. Notice your breathing. Notice how fast or slow you're breathing. Let's soften it down even more. When you're ready, coming back to center, planting your hands underneath the shoulders. We'll find ourselves curling our toes under and finding that downward facing dog again, moving towards the left hand side. So when you're ready, fingers spread wide, fingertips are gripping to the mat, push the ground away here. Inhale, left leg rises, lift it as high as you can, high as you can. Challenge yourself, find that extra millimeter, come onto the tippy toes of the right foot. And then as you're ready, exhale, knee to nose, crunch it in, flying plank, push the ground away, hold here. Really challenge yourself to suck that knee into the chest. And then we're slowly going to step that left foot forward. Right heel grounds. You're in warrior one. So don't be afraid to adjust onto your mat. A lot of times we need to settle in for a minute, especially when we find the pose for the first time. This time the left hip is going to pull back. Right hip is pulling forward. Our hips are square to the front. Reaching those fingers up. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, hands behind the back. Now see if you can take the unfamiliar clasp this time. As you inhale, lift through the chest, pull the fingers down. And as you exhale, slowly start lengthening forward. Use that back heel to really lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Keep the hips even. Don't let them lift or open for that matter. Once you find your depth, let the chin, the neck, the head go. Maybe the hands come up over the back. Keep pushing through the feet evenly. You have two more breaths. Last deep breath. Good. When you're ready, release the hands. Coming back up, find your warrior one. Good. Inhale to lengthen to the ceiling and then we're stepping the right foot forward, finding our chair pose. So again, don't be afraid to adjust if you need to. Sit back in your chair. Everything is behind the toes. You should be able to see the toes. Now, if you're looking for a little more here, see if you can pick the toes up. Actually, as you sit back into your chair, lift the chest, being careful with that lower back. So trying to lengthen through the lower back trying not to stick our butt out <laughs> last deep breath here and then as you exhale fold forward let everything go inhale halfway lift flat back as you exhale plant the hands right foot steps back this time drop the right knee inhale into that kneeling lunge double check that your joints are stacked Hands reaching into the air, to the ceiling, to the sky, wherever you are, and then send the hips forward and down. Again, lengthening through the lower back. And if you're someone who's really flexible, you might need to walk those front toes a little forward just to make sure our joints stay stacked. Finding that breath again. Staying calm. Last breath. Good. Both hands plant. Right hand plants. This time on the floor or on a block. Curl the back toes under. Lift the back knee. And then spiral open to the left hand side of your mat. Now you're moving in lots of different directions here. Your hands reaching up to the ceiling. Your crown of your head is reaching to the top of your mat. You're shooting energy out of your back heel to the back of the mat. And you're trying to keep that front knee underneath you. So keep all of those directions as you're finding strength. Last deep breath here. And then when you're ready, planting both hands, 
drop the right knee, left foot comes all the way to the back of the mat, readjust so the right shoulder is stacked on top of the wrist, finding that modified side plank here. Now again, you can keep the back foot down. You can lift the back foot if you're looking for a little bit of strength. Stay here. If you're looking for a little bit of stretch, that top foot steps behind you, this time to the right side of your mat, and you're going to roll the chest open. Two breaths here, breathing in and out. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, rolling back down to your all fours position, we'll close up the sequence with the last thread, the needle. Inhale, left arm lifts. As you exhale, left shoulder hits the mat underneath the right armpit. Drop the face. And then the right hand binds behind the back. Roll the right shoulder open as you're reaching the left hand through. Make as much space as you can between those shoulder blades. And then again, notice your breathing. Can you slow it down? Can you consciously control that breath? Last one. And when you're ready, we're coming right back around to center, planting the hands, coming back into all fours position. Now you choose, we're going to meet in downward facing dog, but if you'd like to sneak in a little bit of a vinyasa here, even if it's on your knees, take it, right? Moving forward, exhale, lower down, inhale, finding that back bend, squeezing the shoulders back and the chest pulls through, exhale, right back into downward facing dog. Let's move into our second standward standing sequence of the day. So find that downward facing dog, activate through the fingertips, lift out of the shoulders, lift the hips, and then let the heels just go where they want to go. Take one deep breath in here and one deep breath out. Inhale, left leg and right leg. Right leg is going to rise again. We're starting on the right leg. Right leg is going to rise. And as you exhale, you're going to step that right foot all the way through, coming into high lunge this time. So the hips are still forward, but now my back heel is popped. The heel should be stacked right on top of the big toe. And remember, the knee in front is stacked on top of the ankle. Inhale, everything lifts. See if you can... Gently pull the belly button into the spine and maybe push the chest a little bit back. Deep breath in, deep breath out, and we'll find a twist here. Inhale to lengthen the spine up. As you exhale, hands come to heart center. Good. When you're ready, you're going to push through the back toes, left elbow to the right knee. And then when you find that, the top hand is going to push into the bottom hand to lift you and rotate you around, finding that revolved lunge. Now, if this is a bit too much for you, you can drop the back knee at any time. But we're going to hold here. Those of you who have a little more of advanced practice, if you'd like to blossom the arms open, now is your chance. I'm going to stay here with the prayer pose. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more deep breath in. And then when you're ready, our hands are going to plant. Find that block if you need it. Push your hips up and back, straightening that front right leg. Now, we're going to be here for a few breaths, so make it comfortable. Again, use your blocks if you need to. And don't be afraid to step that back foot in. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Square up the hips. Right hip is pulling back. Left hip is pulling forward. And then slowly start to melt down over that straight right leg. Now, some of us might be reaching forward. And some of us might just be where you are. <laughs> it's an intense pose, especially those of us who have really tight hamstrings. So just find a place where you can just notice the sensation and breathe through it. We're going to take one more breath. And then as you're ready, we're going to step the back foot back if you had brought it in. And we're going to open up to find that warrior two. First one of the day. 
So take a few moments to just adjust, making sure the front knee is stacked. You're pushing down through the back heel. Shoulders and spine are lifted, but the shoulders are away from the ears here. And then you're gonna radiate energy out of the fingertips in opposite directions. Some of us might need to tuck the tailbone under just a little bit, just so we're not sticking that booty out. When you're ready, the right elbow is gonna move to the right knee. Cut the horizon in half. Parshvakanasana here, side angle pose. You're going to make a nice diagonal line all the way from the tips of your fingers down to that back foot. So roll the left shoulder open here and make sure you're pushing off that front knee. Now, those of you who have half binds or full binds can take those now. You have about three more breaths in this pose. Those of us who are finding those full binds, making sure you're lifting up off of that knee and continue to roll that left shoulder open. Let's take one more breath. Good binders, go ahead and release. We'll frame out that front right foot, drop the left knee, and we'll find ourselves in lizard lunge here. So front toes move up the mat just a little bit. Move that foot forward. So now your ankle is in front of your knee, right? Toes turn out 45 degrees, and then you're gonna let that knee soften out to the side. Now again, blocks are really handy here to lift yourself up. Just sink the hips down in this position. If you're someone who's a little more flexible and you'd like to come down to those forearms, maybe even getting your chest down to the ground, that option's available to you as well. So we're gonna hold here for about three more breaths. Just try to soften through that hip. Now, if there's too much sensation going on and everything's screaming at you, come up and out of the pose, you're too low. Find a place that's comfortable, that you can breathe through it and it's not so intense. Last breath here. And then when you're ready, again, shoulders plant, our hands plant underneath the shoulders, heel toe that foot all the way back to you and you're in all fours position. And we're just gonna shake the hips from side to side. And we'll find ourselves back in that downward facing dog. Again, if you'd like to ripple forward into plank and sneak just that little vinyasa, feel free to do so. Otherwise, holding in that downward facing dog, let's take a breath together. Inhale through the nose and a deep breath out. Good. Inhale, left leg is going to rise. Really lift it, really lift it, really lift it. And when you're ready, we're going to step that foot all the way forward. High lunge on the left hand side. So again, readjust on your mat if you need to. Front knee is stacked on the ankle. Back leg is trying to get straight. <laughs> it doesn't have to be quite there. Push the chest back and the belly button into the spine just a little bit here, and then hands reach towards the ceiling. You should find a nice stretch through that right hip flexor right about now. Deep breath in, and then as you exhale, hands bind up behind the back. Oh, I'm sorry, we're taking a twist. <laughs> Exhale, hands to heart center, there we go. Inhale to lift the spine. This time the right elbow goes to the left knee. Top hand pushes into the bottom hand to lift you off and rotate you around. Again, drop the back knee if it's all a little bit too much for you. Sometimes I can actually find a better twist when my knee is down. Those of you who wanna blossom, open the arms may take that option as well. I'm gonna stay here in prayer. And we're gonna just take one more breath. Good, when you're ready, hands plant. Push the hips up and back, straighten through the left leg. Now don't be afraid to pop in the back leg. Use your blocks when you need to. Now think about the inner thighs squeezing together, right? So you're the left hip is going to pull back, right hip is going to pull forward as you lengthen the spine over that long left leg. And again, where you are is perfect. Just make the best out of where you are. Slow the breath. Lengthen through the spine. Maybe lift the hips up and back just a little bit more.
Last deep breath here. And then when you're ready, come up just about halfway. Maybe step that foot back if you stepped it forward. And we're going to open out and find that warrior two. Again, stacking the front knee, pushing down through that back heel, radiating energy out of the fingertips and shoulders are away from the ears. Take a breath here. Reset yourself up, finding our side angle pose. So the left elbow goes to that front knee, cut the horizon in half with that right hand, and then roll the shoulder open. So you're looking underneath that top armpit. Keep pushing down through the back heel to lift and lengthen those top right fingertips. Now choose to stay here or find that half bind behind the back or your full bind. Remember full binders were lifting off the knee Use the side waist to lift and pull you off, making sure the top hip is pushing forward and the shoulders are pushing back. So everything is stacked on one line, one line for our feet, one line for our shoulders and our hips. Take one more deep breath. Really nice yogis. And then when you're ready, let that bind go. Frame out that front foot, drop the right knee and we'll find that lizard lunge. Toes move up the mat. So now your ankle is in front of the knee. Toes move out 45 degrees and then allow that left knee to open. Again, using your blocks to lift yourself up or lowering yourself down. So we have about five breaths here. We moved into that one a little quicker than the opposite side. So again, if you're too low, if things are screaming at you, lift up, find a comfortable place. Yoga should be full of joy, not screaming muscles. Breathing slow and soft. Just notice where you are right now. Hmm. Take one more breath. See if you can soften and open that left hip just a little more on the last exhale. And then when you're ready, hands come underneath the shoulders. Heel toe that foot all the way back behind you and just shake out the hips. So we're gonna find ourselves lowering down onto our bellies. You can get there any way you choose, but I find that this is a great time to practice the kneeling chaturanga here. So again, spreading your fingers wide, coming onto your knees, press your hips towards your elbows here. So I'm really squeezing my hips forward and I'm going to lengthen out forward, shoulders over my wrist, elbows bend back, and they're going to squeeze into my side waist as I lower all the way down to the mat. Now you noticed I had my feet up here, so I'm just trying to over-exaggerate. Of course, you can keep your feet down as well, but we'll lower all the way down to our bellies. So find a comfortable position here. Feet are squeezing together in the back and you're rolling to the top of the thighs. Now your head is always gonna be looking at the mat. So our neck is in line with the spine here. The first one, we're gonna take our fingertips and we're just gonna reach toward our hips. We're gonna take a deep breath in and we're gonna inhale, lift the chest. Now, if that feels okay for you, you can also lift the feet for the full locust. Maybe you're even lifting your hands off the mat. I'll count you down. 10, keep breathing. 9, 8, 7, 6, lengthen through the crown of the head. 4, 3, 2, one and release down to the mat. Maybe make the pillow for the head and bend the knees and just windshield wiper them from side to side. We'll go up again. This time taking the hands a little bit differently. So again, if your lower back is not feeling it today, just take a break. You don't have to do all of these. Straightening the legs out, squeeze the feet together. This time we're taking the hands and binding them behind the back. Now if you can't bind the hands, that's all right. Just keep the hands on the back of the hips here. Those of you who have hands bound, squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back. Again, lengthen through the crown of the head, squeeze the feet together. Inhale, lifting the shoulders and the chest, maybe also the feet. If you wanna add on, lift the hands off of the torso. 
counting you down, 10, 9, you don't have to hold for the whole 10, 8, you can drop out when you need to, 7, keep looking at the floor, 6, slow the breath, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and release. Good. So we're going to take a little break here and we're going to stretch through our quads before we move into bow pose. So coming up onto your forearms, take the left elbow on the middle and you're going to grab up the right ankle. Now, if you can't grab that ankle, here's where a strap comes in really handy. Just wrap it around that foot. Grab the strap and you're going to pull the heel towards that right butt. Otherwise, you're grabbing the foot and trying to squeeze it in. Now, keep pushing your hips into the floor here. Most of us will find a nice stretch through our quads. And you want to make sure that the knees are kind of together here. If your inner thighs are splayed apart, you might find less of a stretch. Last deep breath here, and then we're just switching sides. So when you're ready, no slingshots here. Let that foot go gently. Release it down. Right elbow comes to the middle of the mat. Left foot comes up. Again, use your strap if you need to. Otherwise, just pull that foot in. And keep pushing the ground away here, trying not to sink into the shoulders. Use a little bit of strength through the shoulders here. Gently slowing the breath. Just noticing the sensation in that left quadricep, the top front of the thigh. Last breath. And then again, gently releasing. Okay, so we're going to try to go into bow pose. If your lower back is not really happy today, don't worry. Just take the same locust pose that we took before. So coming back down onto your chest. If you're going to take that locust pose, take either the hands by the hips or hands underneath you and lift the shoulders and the feet. Those of us continuing on to bow pose are going to bend up the knee, um, bend up the knees, trying to grab the feet or the ankles. Knees start together, so trying not to splay the knees apart. Keep a little bit of activation through the inner thighs. When you're ready, we're all going to take a deep breath in, and as we exhale, we're going to lift. Now push the feet into the hands to create that back bend. I'll count you down here: ten, nine. Eight, well done. Seven, six, you can release at any time. Five, four, keep breathing. Three, two, one. And when you're ready, gently releasing down. Make a pillow for the head and just swish the feet from side to side, rocking the hips here. Well done, well done. As you're ready, we're slowly going to start coming back up. Hands underneath the shoulders. Push yourself up into all fours position. And then we'll find a nice straddle pose onto your mat. Working a little bit of those inner thighs. Now, here are some tips to make this pose a little easier. If you're someone who's really tight in the hips, use a blanket or a pillow, maybe even a block. Just lift up your hips and stick it under there. It's going to give you a little extra space and a little more mobility through the hips to roll forward and we're not rounding into the lower back so much. If your hamstrings are really tight, bend your knees a little bit here. You're still going to find stretch through the inner thigh. Otherwise, the rest of us are going to make our straddle as wide as we can. And we're going to sit up nice and tall, lifting through the chest. And as you exhale, just think of hinging at the waist, trying to keep the length in the lower back. So not rounding too much, walking the hands out to center. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can release down a little bit more and just be gentle with yourself. Good. We'll take one more breath, really reaching, find a little bit more length here. And then as you're ready, slowly come up about halfway, halfway here, walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Now I'm going to give you two options here because I always believe in lots of options in my yoga classes. So you can frame out that front foot and then take your shoulders 
to frame over that right leg and then just gently lowering the chest down towards that straight leg. The other option here is to take the right hand or the right elbow inside the right leg and then rolling the left hand up and over. So again, you might not find a whole lot of length here, but it sure does feel good on the side waist. So stay here for another two breaths here. Slow it everything down. Maybe just close the eyes. Notice the sensations going through your body right now. And then as you're ready, rolling back down to center, find a little bit of length moving forward again. Take a deep breath in and exhale, lower down. Just one breath. Good. Inhale, lifting halfway. We'll move over to the left side. So walk your hands over to the left. Again, same two modifications. You're either framing out that front foot or framing out the left foot, squaring up through the shoulders and lengthening down, finding the hamstring stretch, or the left elbow comes inside the left thigh. And you're going to roll the right shoulders open here. So again, I just try to use my elbow to rotate open as much as I can. I'm not worried so much about length and touching my toes. I really want to find stretch through the side waist, pushing the right hip down. One more breath. We'll travel to the middle one more time. So as you're ready, roll everything back down to center. Reaching those hands forward, find your deepest depth here. Let's take two breaths down here. So lengthen, 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 inhale and exhale, release down a little deeper. Inhale to lengthen, 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 and exhale, release down a little deeper. Good, coming back up to center, gentle, remove those blocks or blankets that you've had them underneath your hips. And just gently start bringing the legs in, give them a nice little jiggle, maybe bending the knees if you need to. And we'll find ourselves laying on our backs. So just gently falling down onto your mat, pull the knees into the chest here, and we'll find a little bit of happy baby. So taking the first two fingers and finding your big toes if you can and pulling the knees down towards the armpits flatten through the lower back happy baby pose now again some people find a really nice back massage if they roll from side to side here some people like to straighten out one leg and then the other maybe they do both at the same time so just find that happy baby pose that's good for you and then when you're ready, bring your knees back into your chest, release the feet, and we'll move into figure of four. So let's plant the left foot down onto the mat. The right ankle is gonna come onto the left knee. The right hand is gonna go through the keyhole you just made with the legs, and you're gonna pull the left knee into the chest. Now, as you do that, slowly release the neck and the shoulders back down into the mat, soften through the lower back. If it's difficult for you, sometimes a strap here can be helpful, help you get that knee into the chest. So just notice where you are right now. Relax, breathing deep, and keep that right foot flexed just so that we're not torquing out that right knee. Let the right hip soften. One more breath. And then we'll move into a nice twist. So keep the legs, just plant the left foot on the ground and then take the right knee on top of the left knee. So you have your legs crossed, right knee is on top. Right knee is gonna move to the side, the left side of your mat and your right hand is gonna reach towards the right. So you're in a nice spinal twist here. Now if your knees don't come down to the ground, place a block or a blanket underneath them, support them. And if your shoulder is way up off the ground, that's all right, find stretch here. Take a deep breath in, really expand through the right rib cage and a deep breath out. Maybe soften your eyes closed. We'll take one more breath here. One glorious breath opening up the right side.
good. When you're ready, everything comes back to center. Pull the knees back into the chest and we'll move to the opposite side here. So this time the right knee is, or the right foot plants, left ankle on top of the right knee, left hand goes through the keyhole you made and you're gonna pull the left knee into the chest keep or right knee into the chest sorry right knee into the chest you're keeping your left foot flexed and again you're just relaxing and softening down close the eyes let the head relax the neck relax the shoulders do not need to work here flatten your lower back into the mat and then just breathe into that left left glute the left hip find stretch there Last breath. And then when you're ready, keep the ankle on the knee. Just set the right foot down onto the mat. Then take the left knee on top of the right knee. So now your legs are crossed. Both knees move towards the right side of your mat this time. Ground them, place a block or a blanket underneath, and the left hand is reaching towards the left side of your mat. Take a deep breath in, the biggest breath so far of the day, and open through the left rib cage. Let the spine come back to its normal position. Relax the feet, relax the hips. Nothing needs to work here. Last breath. And then as you're ready, gently pulling your knees back to center. Hug them in one last time. Mm. And we'll find Shavasana. You've earned it. So Shavasana can be any comfortable position you choose. Your legs can be extended out long. You can keep your knees bent. The only thing that I ask is that you really lengthen through the spine. Shoulders are away from the ears, so walk your shoulder blades down your back and the palms of the hands are facing towards the ceiling. And I want you to just take your focus to your belly here. I want you to concentrate on your inhale, the belly lifts and rises like the sun. And as you exhale, the belly falls. Inhale, the belly lifts. And exhale, the belly falls. Stay here, just focusing on that rise and fall of the belly. Let that rhythm start softening the whole body down into your mat. everything just become loose and fall apart. Allow yourself to just gently let go. Stay here with the breath. Just breathe.
wiggling fingers and toes, taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Wherever you are, gently pulling your knees into your chest. Take a deep breath and stay here or gently roll to one side. Take just a moment or two to thank yourself for a wonderful practice today. And when you're ready, we'll meet in an easy seated cross leg position. Any position of your choice, just extending the spine nice and long, shoulders away from the ears. We'll just take one breath in together, deep breath in through the nose, open the mouth and let it go. Thank you for letting me share my practice with you. Namaste.